so I feel like we've got a good one today because today is part two of my autumn capture wardrobe sort of mini series. Part one, I'll make sure that is linked up here for you. That is all about planning these purchases and how I went through my wardrobe, went through what I loved last year and my most worn things of last year. Then also looked at my kind of current style inspirations and married up the two and just worked out the gaps in my wardrobe that I needed to fill to sort of get the overall vibe and sort of the outfits and the uniforms I really wanted to wear over the next couple of months. So definitely check that out because that's kind of the background to this video and it just shows these were all things that I really thought about. They weren't like mindless purchases. I feel, I feel like I've got some good things here actually. I'm excited to show you. So there are five things. I've bought a couple of things in some categories. There's a few more than five things. Everything will be linked down below as always and a couple of these things are a little pricier than normal so I will try and find dupes for you as well. So the description box will be beefy, there'll be plenty of things in there, but on to item number one. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm the most excited about this one. Whenever I was going through my like Instagram collections, you know, you can have that little saved area on Instagram, this item just was coming up practically on every row, time and time again, and it was like a camel, sort of dust to coat length. And I don't actually really own any proper thick coats that length, I have a couple of thin trenches, but I didn't have a thick like wool coat and through my research I found that they are really <laughs> expensive. There's a gorgeous one from Totem that's just beautiful and it's I think a cashmere wool mix. It was £800. I was like that that is ridiculous. So I sort of bought it down a bit. I checked out Jigsaw, I checked out Jaeger, I checked out And Other Stories. And Other Stories actually had a really really nice one, probably quite the closest sort of high street dupe to what I actually went for but in the end I went for this one from Whistles and I absolutely love it. It's exactly what I wanted. It's a little bit more structured than perhaps the other ones that I'd seen online and it does come with a wrap around if you want to wear it kind of more fitted and like trench coat style but it's the perfect length. It just fits really well. I picked it up in a size 10 I think. Nope, I got it in a 12. Sometimes I tend to get a size 12 in jackets just because it's nice to be able to have a bit of like space to move around and be able to wear chunky knits. Wait, they're coming later on. I just bloody love it and I've been wearing it a ton. I've been wearing it in vlogs like you guys have seen it in like Instagram photos and stuff. And annoyingly, it wasn't when I bought it, but now it is 20% off. Whistles have a 20% off across the whole website which is insane but it ends tomorrow night so Monday night um, after this video goes live so if you want to get 20% off of the whole of Whistles then definitely check out their website. This is just my favourite thing in my wardrobe right now and I like that I got it in a size bigger because it means I can wear even like a chunky like a really really chunky knit like this underneath and it still goes on top and doesn't look too bulky but it is such a good length the length of it is just perfect I like that it's got the little loops here in case I do decide to wear it with the belt but personally I like it just very open like this I just think this is really smart a little bit 70s I love the color of it just oh my god there is nothing I dislike about this jacket it is just perfect exactly what I wanted the second category that I was looking for were high heeled black boots I was looking at these as more of a evening formal kind of shoe for me because I just feel like that was really lacking in my wardrobe and was actually something that I put in my notes from my winter capture wardrobe that I was missing. So I did a bit of research online and And Other Stories haven't got their full boot selection in yet. I feel like And Other Stories is a really good place to buy shoes because they're kind of like really good quality but not crazy crazy expensive. Um, but there wasn't really anything on there. I had a look on their Porte, like they were just ridiculously priced and again something just wasn't right. They weren't the exact ones that I wanted but I saw Lizzie Hadfield had these, she goes on about them all the time, like especially last year when I really got into her videos, she was wearing these a lot and they are the Dear Francis Spirit Boots. Um, so Dear Francis is a UK designer, she's like actually a woman called Francis. They're all made in Italy so it's very like high quality, gorgeous leather, gorgeously made. Again, not the cheapest boots I've ever found, but really great materials and really kind of cute design features on them. And I never get compliments from strangers about what I'm wearing, like that just that just never happens. But I was in Oxford Street Tube Station the other day, the first day that I wore these out, and a lady stopped me and she was like, excuse me, where are your boots from? I love them. I couldn't believe it! That's, that's kind of how eye-catching but still very sort of subtle and quite plain looking they are. I just... Bloody love them. The one thing I would say, Lizzie says these are like wearing slippers and she must have very hardy feet because for me, I haven't worn high, high heels like on a daily basis or for like long periods of time for years. And so I definitely felt a little bit like, 
I don't want to say they were painful, but they weren't 100% comfortable for me. They weren't uncomfortable, it's more just the fact I was walking around in a heel. I'm sure they get better as I get used to it and like grow the foot muscles that I need. It's not that they need breaking in in terms of like blisters or rubbing or anything like that. It was more just getting used to walking in high heels again. One thing I will say, sign up to their newsletter because it gets you 10% off, which saved me like 40 something pounds. So they come up pretty high on the leg, like definitely past the ankle and they've got this zip that goes all the way down and that's the little like white bit that I was talking about and then the heel just looks like it's almost been stuck on and like I said that bit of uh, patent leather down the back I'm not sure you can really see that but a little change in texture and honestly so soft like I said no problems wearing them in in terms of like blisters or rubbing or anything like that it's just a case of me uh getting used to wearing these bad boys again. So one category that I really went with were chunky knits. And again, when I went through, these were just coming up on my Instagram saved section again and again. I obviously have a thing for sort of chunky knits, sweater weather, like chunky knits with jeans and boots or like loafers. And I have to say, ever since I got these, I have been getting a ton of wear out of them just because I didn't really have anything like this in my wardrobe, obviously a shirt, on its own now can sometimes be a little bit chilly or you can do like a shirt and a jacket or I've got like kind of thinner cashmere knits which are lovely and do keep me warm but sometimes you need something a little bit snugglier and I've been loving these because I can wear these with like a t-shirt underneath and so if I go somewhere that's hot and I just need to like whip it off I've got a t-shirt underneath or I can almost like wear these as a jacket like that's how I've been wearing them layering them so I can wear them out and not have to wear a jacket over the top it's like the perfect weather for these right now so the first one I got is from a brand called Cezanne. It is a French brand, you can buy it online. I bought this when I was in New York. I just saw this shop and I was like, I know they're gonna have exactly what I want. They had this style in a couple of different colors, but it's just this chunky knit. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in the camera, but it's got a slight kind of grain in the knit almost, like a bit diagonal here, coming down here. Um, but I love the fact it's cream. I was looking for kind of more of a fisherman knit and this to me was exactly that. It wasn't crazy, crazy pricey. I like that it's a merino wool mix as well because it's not too scratchy but it does keep me nice and warm. There you go now you can see the detail in this because I've come up a little bit closer but I love the neck on this I think the neckline is just perfect it's almost like a mini turtleneck kind of I love that and again oh, just a good solid chunky knit it hasn't got as wide sleeves as the other one that I've got but it's still kind of got you can see the sleeve sort of still has a cool shape to it but personally I just I love them like rolled up a little bit tucked in oh this, i i could just i could wear this every day of autumn and be happy the other one i got is definitely a bit of an investment purchase this was quite pricey but again i bought it from new york and i was having one of those moments where i thought that it was a monopoly money that i was paying with like oh it's just i didn't really fully understand the exchange rate i was like it'll be fine it's like half price it definitely wasn't however i'm really happy because like i said i've been wearing these so much this one is from a brand called demi lee new york i picked it up in a size medium and it's kind of slightly more cropped than the Cezanne one and it's got these huge billowing arms like the arms sort of have this like flare out bell detail and i really love that because it just gives it something a little bit different gives it a really nice shape it tucks into jeans really well because it is a little bit higher so you can kind of tuck the front into jeans and again i've just been wearing this so much with denim i've got some really cool denim to show you next it looks great with that and i like the neckline as well it's got this kind of thicker neckline detail it just these little details all sort of add up and sort of make the piece very subtle very simple but just something a little bit different so i'll also try and find you some dupes you can get your hands on a bit easier as well because i love it i love this sweatshirt on i just think it is just the right amount of chunky without making me look like michelin man like just <laughs> and like i said it pairs really well with this kind of vintagey denim color i personally like to just like do a mini tuck in the front just so it sort of adds a little bit of a waste to my outfit but it could be like completely rolled up or you could wear it more kind of down but I think that looks a little bit kind of baggy so like that and I love the sleeves again either wearing them kind of more all the way down or sort of kind of tucked up a little bit like that. Let's talk about denim because in that planning video I sort of just spoke about a genre of denim I wasn't very specific I just said 
different denim in two different washes and I've tried a lot of things. I'm like a real big online shopper, I don't like going into the shops and getting hot and sweaty in the changing room. So I ordered loads of denim to here and some of it was a complete fail, some of it I really love and those are the bits that I've got here. So the complete fail, I thought, and these kept coming up again like in my on my Instagrams that I loved, these kind of cropped flared black jeans. I was like, oh, they look lovely, they'll look really cool with these. Let's give them a go. So I ordered a pair off of And Other Stories. They were like 59 pounds, so not a mad bargain, but not crazy, crazy expensive for denim. And I thought, these, these look, these look great. I ordered them in my normal size. They I couldn't even get one leg in them, that did not happen, so I ordered them in more sizes, and even when I got the right size, they just looked ridiculous. I actually shot some footage on my iPhone, I'll pop this here for you. If we could just ignore the fact that I've got my pyjamas on on top, I just feel like this style is not working for me, it just, it just looks a bit odd. I kind of don't like that you can't see any ankle, and it makes my ankles look weird and long, I'm just not these are not for me they look cute on other people but on me i think i've got to stick to a straight leg i mean look it's funny they actually look funny but there was just something about these that just didn't work they were like a little bit too tight on the bar and then they sort of flared out I, I don't know they just didn't work on my body shape and i was like okay fine i've tried them that's not for me so for now i'm sticking to kind of the girlfriend bit the straight leg denim i've mentioned it on the blog but i'm really obsessed with a top shop denim design and it is called Raw hem straight leg, motto raw hem straight leg. If you type that into the Topshop website, all these different washes come up. And I'm not gonna lie, I've treated myself to quite a few different washes. I've got the wash that I've got on today, which is like a vintage blue denim. I think these might be my favorite. I am loving these. Then I picked them up in a washed black because I didn't have any black non-skinny fit denim. Been getting so much wear out of these. The black rinsed wash in these jeans actually fits a little bit tighter, kind of the fabric is a little bit heavier than the vintage wash, but I quite like that, I think they fit really well. Again, they look really cool with the boots, but I just, I'm in love <laughs> with these jeans. Like I said, I think I now have them in four different washes, like that's how obsessed with these jeans I am. I just find that they fit so well, they wash really nicely. I love they've got raw hem on the bottom, like I'm loving a raw hem jean right now. And I just think the length of them works really well with these shoes as well. Nice little combination. Then I picked up a wild card because I sort of said different denim and I feel like this wash of denim and the black denim isn't necessarily different. It's like a different style than what I've gone to in previous years, but it's not very out there. But then I found these. These are from the Topshop Boutique range. So annoyingly they come in sizes rather than like waist and leg length. So I picked these up in a size 12, a size 10 I could not get up, but these are a perfect fit. Actually they're a they're probably a little bit big, I need like a size 11 in these. Um, and they're quite a thin denim, so they're definitely not my favourite in terms of like hardiness. And they're probably more of almost like a summer kind of autumn denim. I won't be able to wear these in the winter because they'll be too thin and too cold. However, all those things aside, I love how these look and they look so cool with like grey knits on top, black knits on top, this would be like a really good outfit and it's just something a bit different because I'm literally living in denim and I'm alright with it, I'm not even trying to fight it anymore but this just gives me another option. I feel like these are coming up much more like fluorescent white than they actually are in real life on camera, they're definitely more like cream rather than like a full on bright white. Um, you definitely have to be careful with what you're wearing under these. It's definitely a nude thong or nude pants situation. And if we can just ignore the fact. These really need an iron. They're freshly washed, um, but they definitely need an iron. There's kind of a bit of a crinkle in them that's making them look more like, uh, like combat trousers rather than jeans. But I love the waist on these. I think the waist is really cool. I love this frayed detail. Can you tell that I'm loving, loving a bit of frayed? finishing right now. <laughs> the final item that I mentioned in my planning video was like a black roll neck. I just thought it would be really good for layering underneath things, layering under a camisole, layering under chunky knits. I sort of had never had like a thinner, a really like thin kind of skinny, almost like thermal looking knit. And then I found this on And Other Stories. This is wool, 100% wool actually. I did get this out of my um, washing basket, so it's like a bit crumpled right now. Um, but it's not actually a roll neck. I sort of realized actually having that like massive roll neck is more of like a winter thing for me, not necessarily an autumn thing. So I thought having a little mini turtleneck was just what I wanted. This makes me feel very like, Steve Jobs chic when I have this on, but it's exactly what I wanted. It's very clingy to the body, it's very tight, but actually I quite like that. It's really cool, like tucked into things. I've been getting a lot, I mean, a lot of use out of it, which is why it's in my washing basket. 
Um, I really like it. It's also a little bit see-through, which Mark was like, oh, hello, when he saw it. Um, but I like that. I wear really sort of like lacy, nothing key bras. So I think it looks quite nice with that. Even if you had like a t-shirt bra on, I think it's cool to have like a bit of bra poking through. You know, it's fine. I'm trying to be cool and down with the kids. Um, I like it. I think this would be really cool with like black skinnies on a night out or something. It'd be like a good night out option. So there you go. It isn't too see-through. It's just like a little bit of bra going on there. Nothing too crazy, but I really like the neck on this. It gives me like a floating head and it does kind of emphasize the double chin a little bit if it could be like that that would be great um, it's quite hard to get over the top of your head without getting makeup on that's the only thing i would definitely put this on before putting makeup on um but i like it i think it's like a a nice it makes a change from wearing something really big really baggy on top it's nice to have something that is a little bit more tighter fitting so those are all my purchases and i have to say i am super chuffed with all of them i am over the moon that it's autumn. I'm loving autumn fashion. If you want to see what I'm wearing more on a day-to-day -day basis, then definitely check out my Instagram stories and also my Instagram, because I post sort of like daily photos over there. And also my blog, I pop up quite a lot of style content over there, so definitely check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, actually, speaking of the blog, there is a new blog post today all about like my autumn style predictions. If you want to see the items that I think that I'll be wearing the most over the next couple of months. And there's also, there's a bit of a question in there as well. as purchase that I've got a question mark by, so I'd love to hear your answers to that. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I will see you on Wednesday, the brand new vlog, which is actually a vlog for my birthday. It is really long, um, but I quite like it. It gives me like the warm fuzzies when I watch it. So definitely check that out. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you then. Bye.